How's everyone doing today? This is Zach Allen, and we're going to share a little tip about getting the club to the proper spot at the top of your backswing. Uh, this is a drill that um, I find helps a lot of my beginners, the people that are, you know, have never really felt where the club's supposed to be at the top, but even helps better players at times that have kind of lost the feel for where your backswing's supposed to arrive and end at. But um, the drill starts like this. It works in three pieces, and what it incorporates is if you really think about the golf swing this way, it's a little simplified, but it's a good way to, to kind of go about things. Your hands and arms, all they do in the swing is swing vertically or up and down, okay? Your body is in charge of the horizontal motion, which is just the turning back and through. So we get into trouble when our body starts to work this way or the club starts to do what it's not supposed to do. It works horizontal as opposed to it's really designed up and down with the hands, arms, and wrist, right? And from there, my body just turns, right? It just turns in a circle, right? And then moves through to the finish. So the drill looks like this. You get started, you raise the club up onto your right shoulder. That's the vertical motion in your wrist. You turn, that's the horizontal motion in your body. And then you raise your arms slightly. So here I am at the top, I've got a great turn. I'm pretty centered and I can feel the weight of the club head in my hands and wrist. Something that's really important to consistently hit the ball. So. You can even hit balls like that. It looks kind of like this. Set up, raise the club up onto your shoulder, turn, lift. And hit it. It really gives you a great feeling for where the club's supposed to be at the top. And once your top of backswing gets consistent and repetitive, you'll start to see your ball striking will get more consistent and repetitive. So give that a shot.